Compound angle formula application. Question 10. Show that cos 3x is equals to 4 cos square x minus 3 cos x. Now here we will use compound angle formula and we can write 3x as 2x plus 1 and then we'll expand it and we'll get cos 2x cos x minus sin 2x sin x. Now that means we also need the formula for cos 2x and sin 2x, okay? So as a quick reminder, let me give you the formulas for cos 2x which we are going to apply here. So cos 2x uh, has actually three formulas and since we want results in cos, so we'll use the one which has 2 cos square x minus 1. And sine 2x, if you remember sine 2x, you should remember these formulas now. It is 2 sine x cos x. So in trigonometry, what we do normally is we keep on using different kinds of formulas so that we can cut down on steps, right? Otherwise, in proving what cos 3x is, we need to prove what cos 2x is and cos sine 2x is. It becomes too lengthy, right? And time consuming. Uh, but these are all standard formulas and they can be applied, okay? Let me begin now the solution of this question, uh, cos 3x. Now cos 3x, which is our left side, so when you're trying to prove, we'll start from left and prove the right side. Cos 3x could be written as cos of 2x plus x, right? Now cos of 2x plus x can be expanded using compound angle formula. So we have cos of 2x cos x minus sine of 2x sine x, correct? And now cos of 2x, since we want cos x, right, in terms, we'll convert everything in terms of cos. So cos of 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 times cos x minus sine 2x can be written as 2 sine x cos x times sine x. Now let's expand this. So we get 2 cos square x times cos x will give us cos cube x minus 1 times cos x and here we have 2 sine square x right and cos x. So instead of writing sine square x, I'll convert sine square x into 1 minus cos square x, right? So I'll write 2 and instead of sine square x, I'm writing 1 minus cos square x times this cos x, correct? So what we did here is that we multiplied these two signs, correct? And we got sine square x and then we wrote sine square x as 1 minus cos square x, correct? Now, we can expand this also. See, all the terms now are in cos. So we'll just need to expand and comp and simplify. We have cos cube x minus cos x. And this is 2 cos x times 1 is minus 2 cos x. And this minus and minus becomes plus 2 cos cube x. Correct? Now 2 cos cube x and 2 cos cube x gives us 4 cos cube x. And here we have 1 minus cos x and 2 minus cos x. That gives us 3 cos x with minus sign. And that is what the right side is, correct? So that is how you can prove this identity. It is an identity and it is like cos 2x a formula which you can use, right? So you can make list of your formulas and then they will help you to simplify or to prove identities which will have terms like cos 5x, 7x, 9x like that okay so just get into this and just practice it a bit to remember thank you